So in this video, I am talking about home ownership. It's not real. I don't know why people think it is. Let's do this. All right, guys, so everybody desires to own a home. Well, spoiler alert, you don't actually own it if you own a mortgage. And that is really what you own, a mortgage. So the thing is, guys, there is a big myth and I think it's been created by the way all these financial products are kind of structured to make you think that you actually own the place that you buy, even though you don't buy it, the bank does. So let me explain what I'm talking about here. What happens to you if you stop paying your mortgage? Does the bank let you keep the house? No. No, they take it away from you. And that's because you don't own the house. You own a mortgage on the house. So there is a subtle difference which makes a massive difference when it comes to this home ownership myth that I'm talking about right now. In Western countries, one could argue that you are even less likely to actually own your home just because of the higher cost and the fact that people use more leverage because they have these huge asset bubbles created by artificially low interest rates. Well, of course, all that is unraveling right now. We are seeing higher interest rates and we are seeing monetary policy change. We are seeing the start of a new inflationary era, in my opinion. That doesn't mean that inflation is just going to go straight up. It means that it could go down and then up or up and then down and vice versa. But the long-term trend is up and that means interest rates, the long-term trend is up. Now, obviously this isn't what a lot of people want to hear because they have been accustomed to these asset bubbles. The recency bias is one of those human things that we all have an experience, but a lot of people don't acknowledge or notice. And the thing is guys, the fact is, home ownership doesn't really exist. And another thing that people don't think about is property taxes. What are property taxes? Well, essentially, that is you because you just lease the land off the city that you live in or the municipality that you live in, wherever that may be. So the thing is, you don't actually own the land even. You don't own the land, you don't own the house. The city owns the land and the bank owns the house. And really the bank owns both because the reality is that the banks actually own the city when, when you really get back to it because most of these cities are financed by the banks. So the thing is guys, it's really just a myth that you, you actually own a home. So it makes me laugh when people kind of say to a renter or something like that, well, you know what, you're just paying the landlord or whatever like that, because no, you're not. You're indirectly just paying the bank. You're paying the landlord who then pays the bank. You're not getting that appreciation. But there's one thing that people forget is that this appreciation that we've had for the past 20, 30 years have been because we have lived in this deflationary era where interest rates went down on a long-term trend and everything like that, as I explained in the video that I did a couple of weeks ago. So the thing is, it's important to realize that because you know what? The thing is, things are changing. World orders are shifting. It's not gonna happen really fast. But for people my age, they really need to think about how they want to position themselves. Do they want to lose everything? Do they want to live in a state of depression? How do they want to proceed? Because now is the time to really think about that. Because if you think about it now, then you can position yourself to succeed in the future and provide for your family, for yourself, and everything that goes along with that. But what we're talking about here, which is home ownership, is an interesting thing because, you know, I have heard so many people talk about home ownership and so many people have this idea in their head that they need to own a home because it's gonna bring security with it and everything else that comes with that. 
And it's total BS. It's absolutely total BS. The reason is, how can you have security when you don't own something, when the bank owns it? The fact is that in most places, you can kick somebody out for not paying their mortgage quicker than you can kick out a renter. So how is that for security? If you don't pay, pay your property taxes, the city will take your house, whether you're old or young. There was a story in British Columbia last year about um, the city of Kamloops. I think it was taking some really old seniors house over some dispute of property taxes. But the fact is they followed through and did it. So, you know, the thing is, you are living in a situation where people think that they own something when they don't. Even if you own the house outright, you don't owe the bank anything, you don't own the land. And the house is on the land. So that means that if you stop paying your property taxes, the city's gonna take both away. But you know what, guys? It's time to dispel the myth and really tell it as it is, which is that you don't own anything. You don't own the land, you don't own the house. It's just the fact and the way it is. Now, you could measure the ownership based on leverage. You could measure the ownership based on the proportion of the amount the city charges you based on incomes, and you would find that it's very, very high in places like Canada, which means your ownership security is much, much less because if you lose a job or whatever and you cannot afford to pay either of these bills, then your security is gone. You'll lose the house, you'll lose the land. And that is the real thing. And they don't owe you anything once they take it. Even if you've been paying for 10 years and you stop paying your mortgage, they are taking it and you are getting nothing back because you were not paying down the house. You were paying down the mortgage because you owned a mortgage and you thought you had a house that you owned. And many people fight over that in the court because they believe that it's theirs. And this is one thing that gets bled out of the courts and you can watch all the trials that are available on YouTube about this. But that's the real fact, guys. And I really hope you got something from this video. You know, I, I found it something that people don't really consider. They don't really think about it. Does that mean you should never buy a home? No, of course not. But I just want to get rid of that myth that you actually own something in today's modern age in a country like Canada, because it is just not true. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe for more. If you're interested in these type of videos, check out that interest rate video that I was just talking about and I will see you in the next one. Peace.